What a difference a few miles can make. This is up by Polo, Missouri on our gravel road. And everything was all clean and clear down in town last night coming up I-35. Get on the gravel here and it was a good two inches and it snowed another inch last night. We had to get the snow blower out. No school again today. They haven't had school for a week. And with the storm coming in tonight, may not have school tomorrow. All right, be safe, everybody. Hey everybody, it's Chuck here. Well, today is one of those magical days when you go to the store and you get to buy a new tool. Um, I've put uh, the the rails on uh, over the weekend, and uh, using the Okumi plywood, and we can take some pictures of this later. But the point is, is I needed a new sander. Um, I've had this um, this skill orbital, and this is a pressure control one that's got the it lights up depending on how hard you're pushing down on it. I've had this probably at least five years, and it still works, but um, it's just had issues. Um, for one thing, this um, filter, dust collector, um, well, you can see the tape that's on here. The, it's got, originally it had these little tabs on here, one on each side, so that you put it on here like that, and then twist and it would like lock it in place but a long time ago the tabs broke off on both sides so there's nothing to hold it on there it just pops right off I got on the internet and I ordered a new one and so this is either the first one or the second one but they both look like this the tabs broke off of the second one that I got too now recently I have just been sticking the vacuum hose in the port there and doing that but also recently, um, it's not running evenly. Uh, sometimes it, it acts like it's at the highest pressure, even though I'm just lightly using it. Um, and it seems like when it warms up, it does a little better, uh, but I know we're on our last leg. So well, the other thing about this too is that um, the, uh, the stick em part down here for the for the sanding disc, um, the original one failed, oh, after the first couple of years. I bought some replacement pieces that you can get and put on there. They just glue on, um, and that was a cheap fix, and it's worked. Uh, they stay on there, uh, but we're getting to a point where there's hardly anything on here, and I'm going to have to do that again if I'm going to keep this. So... I was at Menards and I was looking at some other stuff. I was there anyway, and they had these little Craftsmen and they were on sale for like $39. And uh, I've always had good luck with Craftsmen, so I'm in hopes that it'll be okay. Now this dust collector dude, uh, I'm not thrilled with it. There's no way to get this open. It's just a cloth bag. Um, however, what I liked about this is this does have, it's got a couple little uh, pins in there with with a nice o-ring and you put it on here and then you just twist that's on there tight that's not coming off and I can still get my vacuum hose in here so uh, however I decide to use it's good and I figure for $39 I I can't really go wrong so came with a three-year warranty too so um, and the girl at the counter says you want to buy the, and I was just like, no, I don't want whatever warranty you're selling me. It's $39. If it shoots craps, okay. So anyway, we're going to give this a whirl. I got these uh, rails on here, and they're just a little little wide. I've trimmed them down with the, with the sure form plane just a little bit, but uh, now i got to get them smoothed out. So um, anyway, we'll give it an inaugural run and, and see how it does. All right, that's my... Uh, Initial review on this, we'll do a little video just in a second after I use it, and I'll tell you if it works or not. Okay, this sander, this little Craftsman sander, it works great, but at least with my shop vac, I don't know what size nozzle this is, and it, it fits in there, but it's all loose, and I don't know what this inner part is in there, but it's kind of conical. And so you can kind of cram this on in there, but it won't stay. 
So I don't like that. I'm going to have to figure out a way to uh, put some sort of a coupling on there uh, to where I can get it to go on there. But as far as the operation, really smooth. Um, I feel like I've already almost got my money's worth. Um, here's this rail that I'm talking about. And so I was coming along the edges here to try to get even with the uh, shear strake and then also even on the inside um, against the uh, shear clamp. And we got some real nice joints we got in here. That's real smooth and tight. I uh, got my bevels right on the transom. I don't know how I got this little scratch, but we still have to varnish some, of, some more of that. Got it on the other side here. See, that's a pretty, pretty close fit. Um, so that fits up there against the transom pretty good. You can kind of see how it looks on the other side there. And then, of course, on the inside there is where the combing runs. And I'm really starting to think about the combing because that's going to be the next thing, maybe aside from doing the, the, um, the seats. I've got the mahogany down here to do the seats. I do not have the mahogany for the, for the combing. I'm actually thinking about um, laminating the molding rather than trying to make these bends coming around here. Um, I think I can get the mahogany in quarter inch thicknesses uh, from Metro Hardwoods. And if we do that, um, then I may be able to just uh, bend them in place, epoxy them together and, and uh, call it good. So I'm still thinking about that. We'll see, but it's, they got it. They have to come around these curves like here and then go up. Of course I get to get the deck done. Um, but then the, the combing comes around here and then comes up to a point up right about, right about here. We've got to put a little post in here and then it'll meet from the other side coming over the same way. So, all right, well, that's how it's going this weekend. Not a lot of huge progress, but it's the little things now that we got to do to get ready for some other bigger things. More later. Okay, one quick final update. I fixed it. Um, I was having trouble with the hose not staying in here. And uh, so I had uh, an extension tube for the vacuum. And... Uh, it's tapered so like the end would fit on there so that was too big to go on there that goes over that I cut this thing in half just ran it through the bandsaw now this is bigger than this so I don't need this so now this just fits in there and it holds in there how about that so I'm loving it um, I'm gonna run it just for a second so you can hear what it sounds like and see how it does when I'm doing this and I'm coming along the sides, I can see the sawdust getting sucked through the holes here. So it's, there's hardly, there's like no dust, like none. But I'm wearing my uh, dust mask anyway. That's awesome.